Good morning, how are you? Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to you if you don't know who I am. My name is Sharon. Contrary to the popular belief of my name scrolling past your newsfeed, it is Sharon, not Sharon. Hello, how are you? Happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday. Let's make the good coffee. If you don't know, now you know, child. It is Skinny Brew. What is Skinny Brew? It's my fantastic French roast green coffee bean extract coffee that has 225 milligrams of caffeine. It is phenomenal. It gives you crazy energy. Helps with your crappy attitude. It keeps you full and focused with the nootropics inside of it. It is so bomb. Like, everyone needs this coffee. So, I'm going to just go ahead and open it up and then add it to my 8 ounces of water. And you can make this between 8 and 12 ounces of water. Praise God. It's so simple to make. And you can take it with you. Like this coffee can be like taken with you anywhere you'd like to go. So, yay, yay. Let's talk about this real quick. Because while gas prices are rising, it got me thinking. Like people like that have a side hustle aren't like, I mean, we're tripping about it. But we're like, okay, we're just going to go hustle and go make the money that we have because we have the means to go do it. See, this is why you need a side hustle because when you have unexpected things like this and your money is like freaking, you have more left, you have more month than money, you're going to need a side hustle so that you can actually relieve, release the belt a little bit. The belt, it gets super tight, okay? Everybody's paying all these gas price money. Child, let me tell you why you need a side hustle so that you can actually release the belt a little bit. So you can release the belt a little bit so that you're not sitting out here going, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, the gas prices are taking up all of my, all, all of my paycheck, they're taking up all of my time, it's taking up all my stuff. No, boo, it, can, it shouldn't even be happening like that because you have a side hustle and my sis, hey sis. How are you? That's my sis Laverne. She says you need to have 10 streams of income. And I have no doubt. I've always said you need seven. But she says 10. So praise God. And if you have 10 streams of income, if you have 10 streams of income, I'm telling you, because you have a side hustle, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You will be able to like not even blink an eye because of these gas prices. You'll be like, oh, it's high, but I have the means. Like, seriously, instead of going, oh, my gosh, I can't believe it. Like, the, the mindset that we have is the scarcity mindset. Oh, my gosh, I don't have enough. Oh, my gosh, it's taking up all my money. Oh, my gosh, it's doing this. Oh, my gosh, I, I can't afford it. I can't do this. I'm a, all this extra stuff can be alleviated by you saying, I'm just going to start a side hustle. I'm just going to start a little side hustle. I'm just going to freaking start this little thing so that I can actually have that extra money. People go... Studies have actually shown that actually $500 in your household, $500 in your household can change everything, can change everything for you. And, but that's only when you get a side hustle, like seriously. And it could be like something as simple as like selling health and wellness with your girl. It could be like you finding you have a hobby that blows up to a business. I'm talking about something that you can actually possibly pass on to your people, their family members, your children's children, praise God. And not because you can't pass on your nine to five. You can't pass on a nine to five child. You can't do it. You're going to pass on bills, ridiculousness, heartache, headache, all the things. We're not trying to do that to our children. So it's time and this is why you need a side hustle. This is why you need to make extra money so that you're not having to go, okay, family, I'm going to saddle you with all these bills. No, not at all. The Bible says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children, children, children. It didn't say for his children. It didn't say I'm going. It doesn't. It doesn't leave an inheritance. It says I'm going a good man, and that does not mean a, just because you're a woman does not mean that you can't be a good man. Praise God. There's no. There's. It's all a sonship in Jesus' name. Praise God. Amen. So a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children's children. That means that you cannot pass on your nine to five. That means you actually do need a side hustle. Praise God. Hallelujah. Or you're storing up some sort of money. Praise God. Hallelujah. But a side hustle is better because here's the reasoning why. Because they teach your children that they actually have to work 
for their money. They actually have to work for their money because we all have seen what happens when people are inherited a bunch of money, right? We all see what happens when you inherit a bunch of money. Your attitude is horrible. You, you don't, you don't understand. You forget exactly where you came from. You forget where, like you, if your parents weren't heck of hard for it, they worked hard and now all of a sudden you come in contact with it. Maybe your brain has not really worked. You do Something has to be worked out. I hope you're hearing me, okay? Something has to be worked out. And so because something has to work out, a business is amazing to pass down. A side hustle is amazing to pass down to your family. Because here's the reason why again. Because it teaches them how to believe in God and how to fully trust on God. When you have a business child, you're fully trusting on God. <laughs> you are not out here trusting on the paycheck. You're not out here trusting on the two-week paycheck because they're going to pay you for your time. No matter what, as long as I get to this job, they're going to pay me for my time. I'm going to get $2,000 each and every two weeks because I sat here and they're going to pay me. That's not this right? That's not this. And so you're going to need to make sure that you have that mindset. You're believing on God fully. You're fully relying on God. In a business, you fully have to rely on God. <laughs> there's no, there's no misstep. There's no half step on doing that. You have to fully rely on God. And so this is why you need a side hustle so that you can teach your children belief so they can teach your children faith. Let me tell you something. <laughs> this business, it this business is showing my son faith. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. It's showing that his mom has to fully rely on Jesus. Okay? You cannot teach this in just a five, nine to five. I'm, just, I, I'm being so for real, for real. You cannot teach this in a full and a nine to five. You can't. You can't. You have to walk in some actual heartache. You have to actually walk in something that is difficult. You actually have to walk in it where you're not actually getting something for a long period of time so that you, it stretches you. It creates faith. It actually it breeds some, it breeds a different confidence that you have inside of you because you are creating something different because you have a side hustle. You have a side hustle. You know, again, a nine to five pays you for your time. Your side hustle is not paying you for your time. It's paying you for your work ethic, your zeal, and your hustle. Praise God. Amen. And as long as you have that hustle, praise God, and that belief within yourself that God is going to supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory, praise God, you cannot be out in, in these streets with the business and not have the word of God. I'm just being real with you. I'm being real. I'm being real. And if you want to be like successful, man, you're going to need to have actually have a side hustle. Your nine to five is not going to be enough. You know, like we got people in a nine to five working so hard so that they can actually retire, but can't retire. What is that? That's ridiculousness. You're working. I got people. I hear people all the time working for the amount of money because they because they they can't afford not to. Okay, come on now. Come on now. We can't be out here in these streets doing these things and then praying and asking God, oh my gosh, Lord, help me supply all my needs. Da, da, da. And he's, he wants to supply your needs, but you're not even stepping out. How can he bless you and you're not even stepping out? You want God to show up and show out, but you're not even stepping out. You're not even stepping out. And so you, the... The side hustle is going to allow you to step out in Jesus name. Praise God. Because nothing, I mean, I'm, people were hanging out in the boat. Amen. People were hanging out in the boat, but it was Peter that walked out on that water. It was Peter that walked out in that water and he took the chance. Amen. And it's on you. You got to take that chance. You have to take that. Yes. You have to take that step on faith and try a side hustle. Maybe, maybe you keep seeing your girl here. Maybe you're just like, okay, Sharon, let me just see what you have. Like, because the reasoning why the Bible even says it, my people perish because a lack of knowledge. Maybe you just don't know what your girl has. Maybe you just don't even know. Maybe you just need to inquire about it. You know, maybe you need to ask a question. Maybe you need to ask, hey, Sharon, 
How is this going to work out? How is this going to benefit me in your life? And I would say, sis, let me tell you how it's benefited me. Let me tell you how it's blessed my life. Let me tell you how... It's not even the amount of money that's blessed me. It's the community that we have in this business, praise God. And the fact that I'm able to focus on my health. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know where I would be if Jesus was not on my side. Let me just say that one. I do not know where I would be if Jesus was not on my side. I also do not know where I would be if I did not have this side hustle. Thank you, Jesus. I was 266 pounds, 5'1", child. 266 pounds, 5'1". I do not know where I would be if I was not fully focusing on my health. This is a blessing. This is a blessing to me. It's going to be a blessing to you when you decide that you're going to say, you know what, Sharon, let me see what you got. Let me lose weight and make money with you. Because I, you know, I've been seeing your results. I've been seeing your results because you know what, Jeff? I can tell y'all this. Results don't lie. Results don't lie. Results don't lie. And the fact that I've been doing this for almost four years, come July 28, uh, 20, 2022, should give you a double take and go, okay, okay, what is going on, girl? Like, tell me, tell me about what you have. Tell me about what you have. Because I can tell you that people are being blessed in this business. Praise God. And I would not be out here telling you and sharing with you something that I don't have passion for. Amen. I want everyone to feel the way I feel when I wake up in the morning. Thank you, Jesus. I don't want you to feel, oh my gosh, look at my, my knees, my hips, my da 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 da. All that extraness. No, it's because of the products that I'm taking that are absolutely amazing and make me feel good every single day. Okay? That's what that is. That's what that is. People go, oh my gosh, you, you lost 80 pounds. Child, I've maintained it. It's been two years maintaining it. Now, everybody can lose weight. Everybody can lose weight. But claps and snaps for your girl that's kept it off. Okay? That's immensely harder. That's immensely harder. I was telling my husband this weekend. I said, it's easy. It's so easy to screw up. It's easy to mess up. It's so easy. It's easy to not do the right thing. It's easy to not eat well. It's easy to not go for your dreams. It's easy. You just not do anything, right? But it's hard. That's why the Bible says narrow is the gate. Thank you, Jesus. He says narrow is the gate. Praise God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. And when you want to do well, it's going to be hard hard. It ain't going to be easy. It's not going to be comfortable. But I can tell you, it will pay off so much dividends. Hallelujah. Amen. And your faith, it will breed more faith in you. Hallelujah. You won't just have that. You won't just be like, oh, I, I, I believe God. I believe God. No, you will fully believe God in this business. Okay, I'm done. I talked enough about it. But I'm just telling y'all, you need to really Take a think. Think about it. Think about it. Think about your girl. Because I've been out here. I've lost 80 pounds. I've kept it off for two years. And I've been doing this business for almost four years. Something. That should say something to you. Why is she continuing to do this? And what is it so special that she is so passionate about it? Y'all need to get up in my inbox and ask me these questions. Amen. And I will tell you. You. I will get on the phone and I will tell you, sister, this has blessed my life. Amen. And we and I'll tell you too, I talk. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. And then when the Holy Spirit kicks in, child, we be sitting on the phone. Like I've I've had people on the phone with me. I don't even know why. I just don't want to get off. I don't I just don't want to get off because the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Because it's not just about the product of the business. It's not about me. It's not about me. It's not about the product or the business. It's about the people that are connected to your yes, to what you are doing right now. It is a fanning out effect. Just like that post I posted the other day with me and my girlfriend when I was in Texas. Let me tell you, I'll say this and I'm going to go. My girlfriend, that girl, Sherry Lynn, the girl that I'm holding hands in and 
That girl started this business that I'm talking about right now seven years ago. And now that girl is double ambassador diamond, okay? I know y'all don't understand what that means, but can I tell you what that means? That means she's making a lot of money. And that also means that she's changed a lot of lives. That means that in the seven years that she's been doing this business, all the people that are in that picture, go back and walk, look at it. Go back. All the people that are in that picture have been blessed by her, yes. And so this is why you need a side hustle because it's not about you. It's about all the people that are connected to your yes. All the people that are going to be connected to your blessing. Amen. In Jesus name, because that is where it's at. If you want to be an evangelist, you want to do things for God, then this right here, the marketplace ministry, it may be where you need to be. I love y'all. Have the best day of your life.